have a lot of, on this wall I have a lot of my pictures, uh, art that has a lot of color in it. I do a lot of black and white, but this has a lot of color. This one uh, was painted from a photo that I took at Cox Arboretum. I took the photo and I painted, the, I, I don't have the photo here, but this is actually one that I took the photo. Um, this one, I do a lot of paintings from Paris. I love Paris paintings. Um, I love to have that Eiffel Tower in there. And I usually have one or two people in the, in the painting because I like to draw you into the painting and make you feel like you're there. And you'll see that I've got a little couple in there. I have a carriage. I, I painted this one because I just saw that carriage and I just wanted to paint it. So. Um, a couple of these were classes that I taught. This one was in a class, this one was in a class. So it just depends. You know, I, I, I'm always searching for themes and things to paint. Most of my work is on display in my store, Ambiance Wine Bar Cafe on, in Springboro, 345 South Main Street. And I don't usually have prices on my paintings. I started filling the walls up because I had wall space and I had to put something up. So I started painting paintings and people would be sitting there eating a dinner and they'd go, oh, I love that, how much? You know, So I, I, I would sell the painting right off the wall and I'd br have brown paper in the store or wrap it up and ship it. So I've sold many paintings right off my wall. It's actually my, my studio. That's, that's where I paint and that's where I sell my paint. Well, it's interesting to see how much talent there is in downtown Springboro. Um, I'm, I never really thought of myself as an artist. I just love to paint. And um, I, to see people that do this as a, as a career, it, it's very, very awe-inspiring for me uh, because I do consider myself kind of a beginner. Although I do sell a lot of my art, I, I still consider myself a beginner and I really don't think of myself as an artist. Well, I have a background in IT. <laughs> I have an MBA with a background in IT. And for 30 years, I had a dream that I wanted to have a restaurant. And that's why I have ambiance. I finally bought a building. And a year and a half later, I opened ambiance. And that's that's where I am today. I started painting. I cook, I cook in my store. I make desserts. You know, I just love to cook and I love to paint. I'm doing a commission work uh, from the last reception. <laughs> In fact, I had three or four paintings I'm supposed to paint. I haven't had time. Right now, I'm painting the fourth uh, Red Riding Hood painting that I've painted. Uh, people seem to like Red Riding Hood. It's where I've got black, black and white with the, with the Red Riding Hood walking into the forest. And I'm painting her for the fourth time right now for a, for a customer. I'm open Fridays and Saturdays at Ambiance, or they can email me at preeves123 at aol.com, or they can text me on 937-470-6545. I don't usually answer phone calls on the first try because I don't know who they are, so text me. Well, it really is different. It was, an, it was a unique experience. The first time I came here with my sister, it took us eight hours to hang our, our pictures um, because we'd never, I'd never done this before. Um, this time, I got all of my work hung in about two hours. So, <laughs> so, so first time was slow, but this time was a lot faster. So it was enjoyable for me. Today I have how many? One, two, three, four, five, six pieces, I believe. So I have um, the large lion here. And this one I painted just before Christmas, I believe. Um, I just like kind of the, the difference of the line and the butterfly. Um, and then I have some florals here that I've been painting florals for about six months. Um, my wife wanted me to paint one for our house, so I did that and then I liked it, so I started painting more. And then I have a couple portraits down here. I have a, um, a person and a pet. That I do pet portraits and people portraits, so I'm just advertising for those. So I paint a lot of different things. Um, I paint landscape, uh, people, pets, animals, and I also just paint some wild animals. Um, I, when I'm painting just for myself, I just like to paint things I like, so it's kind of all over the place. Um, a lot of my custom orders are the people and pet portraits, though. So, so in this show, I'm here with some of the other local Springboro artists, and it's a good experience because we get to showcase a lot of the work in downtown Springboro and a variety of different kinds of work. So it's nice to look at a lot of different people's work. Currently, I have, uh, I'm trying to think, my commissions change all the time, but I have about six waiting right now, and I'm doing a project with a, food, a pet store in Liberty Township, so I'm painting some portraits to go in their store, and then also a couple fun pieces to go in there. We're going to do a large painting to go in their washroom where the dog, you can come there and like wash your own dog, 
and we're I'm doing a five foot painting of a dog like covered in soap bubbles and shaking around so that's gonna be a fun one so yes so my background is art and carpentry that's why I call myself the artist carpenter um, so I went to school for art but I started in college working as a carpenter for a construction company and through my life I've kind of done both. I made my living mainly as a young person as a carpenter um, and then as I got a little older I started really falling back in love with art and painting a lot so I currently still do some carpentry work. I build some custom wood pieces and paint as well. So uh, my work can be seen in person on Main Street in Springboro at 140 South Main. I have a gallery and studio space there um, behind the Hope and Grace Boutique. And then online, I have Facebook and Instagram, and it's always AS Merle, hashtag artist carpenter. That's how you can find me. So I teach classes that are some fun, just have, come have a good time and paint. They're more like the paint party, like sip and paint kind of parties. We do quite a few of those um, through the month and you can sign up for those on our Facebook page as well. And you just come spend a couple hours with us and I walk you through a fun painting. And I'm also starting to teach some actual learning classes that are in the style of my painting. So, and those as well can be found on the Facebook page. Yes, I like to attend classes and workshop from other artists. So I try to follow some people around the country that I like what they do and their style and then occasionally attend their classes. Um, in the summer, this past summer, I went to Texas for a week and took a week long series of training in a lot of different techniques. I did some, some like modern painting, I did some impressionism and I did some epoxy resin training there as well. Um, and then the end of February, I'm going to Cleveland, Tennessee, no, Chattanooga, Tennessee to take some classes for about four days there. And I'll be working on my florals a little more at that class. Okay, so this past summer, we had a few projects with Springboro. One of the things that I did was with some other artists from town, we painted underneath some of the benches on Main Street. So I painted under three benches and did like, they called it a rug. So it could, we had some kind of some freedom. It could look like a rug or it could be, you know, a piece of art. So. I did a koi pond, I did one that looked like a rug that was kind of like an American pride kind of deal, and then I also did a painting of Blue, the police dog, and that was cool because they brought the dog out after and we took pictures and everything, so that was a fun experience. And then um, at Art Fest on Main this summer, every year Spring Row has an art festival, and this year I won Best of Show at the Art Festival, so that was a pretty cool day. So I think the Spring Row art community is growing, um, it seems like in the last two years it's progressed a lot and um, I think once things start progressing like that they kind of keep progressing you know it kind of builds momentum so hopefully we keep on going and get more art and more artists and more events. The photos that I brought for the show are representative of uh, my body of work. I'm a commercial photographer um, so most of my stuff is commissioned by small business, large businesses, corporations um, so I just brought things that represent um, you know, what, what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. It's amazing to go to UD Arena and see my work on in such a large scale. So there's actually five pieces there that are mine. It was in partnership with Premier Health. They had hired me um, to do an ad campaign and actually it was specifically to fill the spaces in UD Arena. So they had a, a specific um, ad campaign in mind. So we, they, we actually brought in models to my studio and were able to really be creative and come up with some, some really neat concepts, some neat lighting techniques that were unique. And it's awesome to see. We actually won a really big award for the Advertising Federation. We won a Hermes Award in tw 2019 for the one, uh, this one entitled Pivot. I've been in business about 15 years. Started off photographing kids and families, a few weddings here and there, and really kind of found my niche into commercial photography just by doing some networking. And for some reason, it just called to me. I loved, first of all, I love the hours because it's a little bit more business hours instead of evenings and weekends. And I had a small family at the time, or small kids at the time. But I also feel like as an entrepreneur, I feel like I talk the same language as my, as my clients. I understand their end goal and what they need to do and how to convey it with a photograph. So, because imagery is really important for companies to convey, you know, their products, people's pro processes, that kind of thing. 
I first started getting published a lot with Premier Health. I did a ton of work with them. Uh, even today, I was in the doctor's office and I saw three pieces that I had done. But also, I'm published in House Trends magazine. I do a lot of work for um, architecture firms, builders, so I've been published there. A lot of times, they're in ads, in local ads, websites, people's headshots, that kind of thing. I Actually, I see it all over the place. My style is pretty, for me, it seems very recognizable. I'm really a little more traditional, really clean imagery is, is a big thing for me. I want it to be timeless and I want a business, if they if they commission me, that that's something they can use for a really long time. Photography is art, uh, because there's such a creative process. So, I mean, every detail is, is really thought of before I even get behind the camera. So I'm, I'm really able to manipulate things and tell a story. Um, I use color a lot. I color lights or color details that are within the photograph. We also tell a story. Um, you've got one shot to really maybe encompass an entire business's message or mission in just a photograph. Um, so to me, you can do that artistically and there's, there's so many ways to express it um, from the literal to really abstract. I am so excited for, I feel like we're coming through a new revolution with, with the art in downtown. There's a lot of working artists and they're full time, they're making a living. Um, I feel with our, we have the art building at Galleries at 140 um, and we have gallery nights and it really is starting to draw a lot of people in to see what we have to offer um, in Springboro. Art Fest is another um, example of that where we're really just trying to bring a little bit more culture and a little bit more art um, and just something fun and unique you know for Springboro to represent it's amazing to be included especially being a photographer and a specifically a commercial photographer so I'm happy that they recognize and include me the fellowship that we have is is strong like we all really everybody cheers each other on is really happy for everyone's success oh people can reach me um, they can uh, go to my website it's kellyannphotos.com. Um, they can email me. I'm on Instagram and Facebook as well. It's all Kellyann Photos or Kellyann Photography. I mean, you know, a tip I would give a budding photographer would just be to practice. The more you shoot, the better you'll get. Um, ask for advice or ask for critiques from other photographers or even just your friends. Ask them what they see. You know, what could you do better next time? So this show I have, um a mix of old and new pieces. Um, some are very, well, one in particular is very old and I just wanted to kind of show a uh, progression in my styles. I also have a couple of mixed media and photography in addition to my paintings. And my style now is impressionistic and expressionistic both and I use a lot of mixed media. I love the Performing Arts Center. Of course, I love Springboro and what you guys are doing here. I think it's amazing. I was part of that inaugural show, which was really an honor. I don't know, it never gets old. It's a, it's a great space and what the city does for the artists is really welcoming and unlike anything I've in any other place I've, I've had shows. The city does a wonderful job welcoming artists and, and celebrating the arts. And I love walking down Main Street, of course, on warmer days when <laughs> to see the rugs, but, but it was so cool to see all the different styles and visions come through. And I think it just takes the, the city, it adds a lot of interest and, and a cohesiveness through Main Street to link all the wonderful businesses that we have down there. I am so blessed to be part of the historic district where there are some of the nicest and coolest people I've ever met. I'm always honored to show next to them. I consider them friends. So I've been an artist all my life and I went to college for fine art at St. Mary's College of Notre Dame and I graduated from there and so to make money I was, went into graphic design. I never thought about education because I didn't think I had enough patience to be a teacher <laughs> and proved my mom was right because my mom kept saying you should go and be a teacher and then um, after I had my kids I um, I ended up becoming an, an educator and fell in love with it and that's my um, 
outside of creating, that's my biggest heart, is to see that light bulb mo moment go on for the students of all ages. Okay, so I, I started teaching when I moved here. I started teaching at the Dayton Art Institute, and I teach at Middletown Art Center as well. And then when COVID hit, I'd always had a dream to open my own studio. And I took that opportunity when everything shut down because I knew people would be looking for small places to have classes that safely. So the opportunity presented itself with this space and I took it and ran. I'm at Chasing Light Art Studio and Gallery at 140 South Main Street, Studio C. And it's upstairs and it's a really cool building with Kellyanne Photography and AS Mural downstairs and uh, we have a lot of fun. In the gallery area, I offer artwork from, I think we're up to 18 local artists and all different media and, and classes of all ages as well. Best way to reach me is um, chasinglightartstudio.com or uh, chasinglightartstudio at gmail.com. And um, I'm also on Facebook, Chasing Light Art Studio, and then Instagram. Um, I have a couple of commission pieces in, in progress. They're, they're big landscapes, and those are, those are really fun. I just did a couple of abstracts to kind of take a break from those, and I'm really happy with how, with how those turned out, too. So it's just it's kind of a balancing act. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this summer. We're, we're planning to have kids camp again, and that was really well received last year. And I have a lot of fun classes coming up for adults, um, intro to drawing and um, different things that people would find at like Rosewood or Middletown, but not have to travel so far.